The note we found was two-sided. This side I've blown up and it has the information here that is written uh, in ink. We could very clearly see that it was thrown overboard on the 12th day of June in 18 something. We could see an eight, so we figured it's 1880. The six was only made clear to us when we got some information from the Maritime Museum, which confirmed that a little later. The coordinates, thankfully legible, put the boat about 900 kilometres west of Perth, actually Mandurah, which is a bit south of Perth. The ship's name, you could see A-U-L-A -A here. So we figured it's probably Paula or St Paula, but we could find no evidence. But the WA Maritime Museum could. They found an entry in the Lloyd's Register of 1883 for this boat, but the home port was listed as Marseille. Now clearly, this is not an M, this is an E. So that was uh, up in the air for some time. We know it was traveling from Cardiff, Wales to Makassar, which was in the Dutch East Indies. Today it's known as Sulawesi in Indonesia. Now, Ross Anderson from the WA Maritime Museum contacted us on the Wednesday with some sensational news. He'd found two entries in some German annals. One clearly stated that the boat was in this port in Makassar on July 1 of 1886, preparing its next journey to Amsterdam. And the second thing was evidence that they were throwing bottles from the boat with these notes in it, because one had washed up in the West Indies and had been returned to Deutsche Seewart, and that document clearly stated that the captain throwing them overboard was O. Diekman. So that left us only with the home port, which we knew wasn't Marseille because it started with an E, and we had confirmation from the National Maritime Museum that that was in fact Elsflith in Germany because they found a register, uh, a Veritas register entry in 1886 that very clearly states that's where its home port was. And then the final field, Tonya solved that one. She looked at a couple of other Deutsche Seewart forms and found that that field had damp in it for the other two because they were steamships. This one wasn't a steamship, this was a bark. And as you can see, once you know the answer, you can then say, oh yes, that can be a B, that can be an A. But to look at it, uh, especially to the untrained eye, it was very tricky for us to pick up on a lot of this fine detail. But that is the mystery solved for the front page of our note.